A meal plan can save you time, money, and reduce your stress levels. But how do you make one? Let's talk about it. Are you cooking? Welcome to Are You Cooking on Reach Up TV. A meal plan is a menu you make for the week so you don't have to figure out what to cook for dinner each night. A meal plan can also include what you'll have for breakfast and for lunch. It helps you to stick to your budget and keep your nutritional goals on track. If you'd like to learn more about nutrition, check out Are You Getting Fit on Reach Up TV. Coach Ginny, the host, is a personal trainer and a health coach that teaches us what foods best power our bodies. Meal planning is a simple five-step process. Each step can be done on paper or a note app on your phone. There are even meal planning apps you can use. Today, I'm using paper. Make a favorite meals list. Write down your favorite meals. You can always add to this list as you remember what you like and as you try new recipes. You'll use this same list every time you make your weekly plan. Two, make a weekly chart. I like to keep things simple, but you can get as creative as you like. Just list the days of the week on a piece of paper like this. Step three, look to see what food you have on hand and think about the recipes that you can make from those ingredients. I went through my pantry and I found that I have spaghetti and tomato sauce. And then I also have frozen chicken breasts and rice. So the recipes that I can make with that for dinner are going to be spaghetti and meatballs and then a casserole with chicken and rice. So I'm going to write these on my weekly menu. So I have to think about what days I have more time to make a lengthier meal. So on Mondays, I can make spaghetti and meatballs fairly quick. So on Monday, I'm going to put spaghetti and meatballs. And then on Tuesday, that's a pretty busy day for me. So I'll want something that takes a little bit less time. I can do the chicken and rice casserole on Wednesday. So I'll write that on my menu. Chicken casserole. All right, then we have step four. Step four is now I go to my favorite meals list and I look at the list that I made to put other dinners on my weekly menu. So on my favorite meals list, I have spaghetti and meatballs, which I had in my pantry, baked chicken and rice, which I also had in my pantry, meatloaf, stir fry, tacos, pizza, and breakfast for dinner. So I am going to take my favorite meals list items and I'm going to put them on my weekly menu. All right, so Monday we have spaghetti and meatballs. Tuesday, I said that that's a pretty busy day for me. I'm going to put pizza down for Tuesdays. Wednesday is chicken and rice casserole. Thursday, I can have a stir fry. Friday, I can do tacos. That's a great Friday night meal. And Sunday, we'll put meatloaf. All right, so number five, make a shopping list. You're gonna write down all the ingredients that you need that you don't currently have to meet your meal plan list. So uh, you'll also wanna add anything that you need for breakfast and lunch as well. So for example, I'm going to look at Monday. Spaghetti and meatballs is on the list. So I have the sauce, I have the pasta. On the shopping list goes meatballs. Um, if you think about what else is in your pantry, do you have cheese to go with that? Is there anything else that you put in your spaghetti and meatballs? You'll wanna put that on your shopping list. Tuesday is pizza. Um, I'm going to just put pizza on my shopping list. Um, as I mentioned, Tuesday is my busiest night, so I'm not making homemade pizza. I'm gonna buy a frozen pizza. It'll keep it simple uh, and quick. Wednesday, I have chicken casserole, so I would need a can of Campbell's cream of chicken soup to finish this recipe, because I have milk, and um, that will go on the list, so I will put a can of uh, soup on there. Thursday, for a stir fry, I will need a package of stir fried vegetables, and you can add meat to that if you want. Um, Fridays is tacos, so I have taco seasoning in my pantry, but I'll need ground beef, 
and I also have lettuce. So anything else that you want to add for those tacos, you would put on your shopping list and so on. Take a look at your weekly menu sheet, go through each recipe in your head and go through exactly what you'll need and you'll have everything on hand for you for that evening when you're ready to cook. I find that meal prep and planning works best for me on the weekend. So do what works for you. Now, one more thing that you can do to keep your meal preparation easier in time um, and efficiency is prep your food for the week. So on a Saturday or Sunday, if I know that I'm having a stir fry on, what day was that? Thursday. I will take all my vegetables out over the weekend and I will cut them up and put them uh, in a Ziploc bag or in a Tupperware and put them in the refrigerator so they're ready to go. Another thing that is really helpful is if I'm having breakfast for dinner, I'll make up my pancakes over the weekend and then put them in the refrigerator or freezer so they're ready for the breakfast for dinner. All right, meal planning lets you see your week in review so you can have peace of mind. Especially great if you have children that keep asking what's for dinner, what's for dinner? You can post this on your refrigerator so everyone can see. A great activity for your children, nieces, nephews is to make up a decorative meal plan page. They can use crayons and markers and you can do it for all the different holidays. So I pray meal planning will help you gain more time for yourself and less stress in the kitchen. Are you cooking? Let's do this. <laughs>